Hey guys, how you doing today? I want to thank everybody for coming to my show last night. We had like 32 people. Awesome. Very thrilled. And I see there's a lot of people watching the replay. Real quick, all we did was took paint chips and just put some embossing powder on them and glitter glue and then just made, you know, cut out with punches and made flowers and stamped them and made, I mean, you can see like the thickness. I stamped it and then put embossing powder over it. It's an iridescent one. And then we did the, um, we did this one too, this little, you could see the vintage to it. And then we did the, um, cluster of beads that you can make into a pendant or whatever. So, um, People were asking about paint chips and this and that and how many can you get. And I've gotten quite a few uh, messages this morning about it. And so I thought, okay, you don't have to necessarily use paint chips. You can use um, a piece of watercolor paper, mixed media paper, cardboard, whatever you have. This is just happens to be a shipping tag. And take your acrylic paints or your watercolor paints. It doesn't matter. I'm going to... Just put some color on here and show you what I mean. So we're just going to do some color. And this is just easier for me today because my hands are not feeling that great. So. so you don't have to use paint chips. Some aren't open. Oh, I hate when that happens. It will be open now. But yeah, you can use, you don't, like I said, you don't have to use paint chips. I know a few people um, mentioned that, that are out of country, have mentioned that they don't have those type of stores. Let me make sure everything else is open before. Looks like it. Are you open, mister? Um, you know, that they had, don't have the stores that we have here in the U.S., uh, over in the UK and in Canada. So I just want to show you <laughs> why I should have opened and see, this is me never running. I don't know why it's just me. So I'm going to shake these up. My daughter got me a bunch of the distressed paints for Christmas. And a couple of them I have. I have my snubby on and it's like showing. I'm not feeling very well. But you take and you squeeze and you push it till it gets down. There you go. Come on, baby, flow. I'm just dab it on till it's on and then you use the foam. It's the kind with the foam on top. And you just kind of spread it on. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just putting color on here. It doesn't matter. Now, you can also emboss if you want, but it would be harder to cut. So we're just going to do this. And this is just a regular shipping tag. You can buy them um, with whatever uh, sizes you want. They come in smaller than this. They come in bigger than this. You don't have to buy the Tim Holtz. Um, these work by, you got to press down. There's like a little lever. And when you press down, the paint comes out. This means shake, shook and shaken, not stirred, shaken. Yeah. Shake and bacon. It's on yellow. And it would come out if I would, if I really had my husband shake it for me better. But I'm not going to go bother him just to show you a demo. Yeah. So I'm just putting some color and you can go over and make it whatever you want. Put polka dots on it. I mean, we'll, we'll play for a moment. But uh, let's do some blue. I really got to get my husband to shake these for me. And just turn it and start the other. I always turn my work when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Because I'm going to be using these today on my um, other video when I finish my girl. I 
I can hear it coming down. Am I not clicking that enough? Come on, little friend. There we go. I heard it click. Yep. You got to like push and if it doesn't come out, just like I, you saw me take your paper towel and push and you'll hear like this little click in there. And then you know that you're good to go. I rhyme. See, then you know you're good to go. Then you know you're good to go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. And we're just kind of doing, we're kind of doing. I ain't worrying. I ain't sweating it. And some, we'll do a little bit of purple. Plus, I didn't gesso this. So you can definitely gesso if you want. You don't have to. You can see you're still getting color. All right. And then what we'll do is make sure that's pushed in and oh shit I gotta get that white down here come on white I probably should store these upside down. I store them like sideways laying like this, but I think for my hands and everything, it would be better if I stored it upside down. Anyway, if the white doesn't come down in a momento, we will stop. Anyway, okay, so let's just pretend. We're just kind of doing our thing there. Yeah, see the fluid's coming out, but not the paint. So we shall just leave it upside down and then eventually it'll pop and fall over on whatever I'm doing. Let's see about the pink. That's a good one. These are the newer ones, the distress paint, and they got a ball in it. Like he really jazzed up his game, that Tim Holtz, which we all know. I'm not going to get into it, but they're extremely better. My daughter bought me the distress paint and I already had had, my husband bought me the acrylic uh, paint daubers. So these ones that my daughter bought me, she bought me a bunch for Christmas, are mucho better. Now we have some pink on there. You can take a stamp if you want and kind of stamp it around to get, you know, some more texture. It doesn't matter. Then wipe off your stamp. Make sure you wipe off your stamp unless it's just a crappy old, I have some crappy old stamps that I use in paint usually for texture that I don't never, I never clean off. Now, if you get to a point where you see where this, where I, you can see there's paint in it, I'm going to set that aside. I take my spray bottle. Oh my God. What do I have all over me? Something gooey. <laughs> gooey. Okay. Take a spray bottle and just spray it in. That black won't come off because that's a permanent stamp pad. It was a glitter from last night, not dry. And then you know, you can run it underwater or you can just kind of do it like this to get that extra little goops out or Q-tips. I have my Q-tips here, but then you can see, and these are supposed to look distressed anyway. So any little, little things don't matter, but then I got it out and it's always having water near you is kind of good, kind of good. All right. So now I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun. To dry that pink and like I said these these uh you could get these at Walmart you can get these at um Staples you can get them I mean you can buy them at the craft store but you get way less for I mean and you and you pay a lot more uh buying them at the craft store I just would go to your Staples Office Max whatever you have Walmart Kmart, which I think they're going out of business, but, um, you know, and go buy packing, 
packing stuff. So let me just make sure that everything's dry. Okay. So now you have your own kind of design. It doesn't have to be a paint chip. These are probably, I mean, like these are a dime a dozen to get these. And now you can go in with whatever kind of stamp that you have. I put the other ones away and forgot to put this away. So I thought, well, I'll do this. Um, you can also, since you did the, I mean, you could take this little little string off. I would save this for something, but um, you can also do the other side. <coughs> Excuse me which we can do really quickly, maybe. Just do some yellow. There's some embossing powder on there. I guess it's picking up from my mat because I went to bed right after the show. Okay, so you can do this. Now, if you don't have a uh, card, a, a shipping tag thing, use a piece of watercolor paper, a piece of mixed media paper, a piece of card stock. Anything will work. Anything. Cut it down into little pieces that are doable for you. Come on, baby. I know you got it in you. We'll just leave dots on here. That's another one that has to come all the way down. I should have picked all the newer ones out, but we'll just leave the dots. And... Just so the back's done so you can see it. And you can see if you squeeze and, and put it down, you also get, you know, and then you can go back and make some color if you want. Not a big deal. Oh, my God. Knocking everything over. And then some pink. Okay. And then we'll dry it real quickly. And if you want, well, we can't do it now because I have to cut it. But while this is wet, this pink, I'll do it once we cut. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Now, if you hold your heat gun, now you can use a hair dryer to dry this or just let it air dry. You don't have to. I'm just speeding it up for the video. But if you hold it, you can make some bubbles with your paint like you always can. Okay. And now I'm just going to dab just so it's to make sure it's dry. Okay. So that will be the back. Of course, this will be the front because we did a little more fanciness with it. All right. And I don't know why I didn't bring that down further. Okay. So now we have our punch and we have our thing. And you just, I put it with the side that I want to see through the bottom. So then you can see where you're punching if you want a certain color or if you want to get the most out of your punch and you just put it in, punch it, and you have a front. You do if it would, even if it would, uh, there you go. You have your front and you have your back. And if you're going to double it up, like, I, now this is uh, thick, like the paint chips, but I like to double up. So if you go in again and do another one, and you see you can use whichever sides that you want, these sides or this side, and then you would just take your glue stick and glue it together like I did on the show last night. And you have, it just gives it extra dur you know, durability. And something else you can do, 
um, which I, you know what, I'm not going to do necessarily today, but you can, I would have to melt that. That would be a different video. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But anyway, so then here you have your paper beads and it was made just out of either cardstock or mixed media paper, watercolor paper, um, a, a shipping tag. And you also have your, um, you have stencils, which we will use later. But so you don't have to have paint chips. You can make your own colors to go with whatever you're doing. And it's really cool. Now, you know, we can definitely, let me find the color. Let's do this. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So you guys can see better. It might be a little fuzzy. I don't know. Let's see if you guys can see. So I'm going to shake this up for a minute. And I'm going to put ink there. That's my ink. I'm going to take a little bit of my iridescent. And I'm going to put it on there. Because it's wet, it's going to stay. Put a little bit more. And then, of course, pour off what doesn't stick. And you can see that, oh, gosh, that was my embossing. As if I used my embossing pad, but I used wet paint. So you can do that, too. So can you see that? So there's my embossing powder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it so you can watch. And I'm going to take my heat gun. You have to have a heat gun to do this. Let's see if you can see it turn, turn. And burn my fingers. And you get this really cool, I, I know you can see it bubbling. Put it down for one second. You get this only because the, the heat was coming through there. Don't ask. Now you get this really cool texture with the iridescence in it. And that was just by using your paint. And you can also, like I said before, stamp in it. I don't know if this is going to be a good stamp or not, but push down really good and give it a second until it cools off. Just a second. And it'll cool off fast. And then lift it off. And this isn't the best stamp to use because I needed to put the petals in more than the middle, if you understand what I'm saying. So let me see if I can reheat it and do what I want to do. Yeah, I can reheat it. My snubby keeps getting in the way. Okay. Oh, you snubby. So those who don't have I got um, quite a few emails this morning about those who don't have um, embossing pad, but might have a few things of embossing powder. So you don't have to have the embossing pad to do. You can use your paint until you get an embossing pad. I know, you know, also, um, the Frugal Crafter, I think, has something using uh, glycerin, which I'm going to look up because I have a friend sending me glycerin. So when she sends it, I'm going to try to do what the Frugal Crafter did. Um, and then you guys can see that, or you can head over to the Frugal Crafter. All you have to do is search Frugal Crafter on YouTube and go through her videos, and then she shows it with the glycerin. All right, it's still a little hot, so it's sitting there. Also... Angie, Lupus Life, Angie's Art Channel, I wanted to tell you something. I watched your, um, well, your video from your live show um, this morning, and I wanted to tell you, um, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but um, something that um, a lot of us do when we buy books to journal in, as you were talking about how big and thick the book gets and smashes your stuff, is that you take out um, a bunch of pages like it, like, uh, take out a chapter worth of pages and then save a chapter worth of pages or take out 10 pages, save 10 pages, take out 10 more pages, save 10 pages. 
and do it that way. And that helps a lot with the bulk of a book and for you to be able to do um, your art journaling in it without it being too heavy and smashing everything in the middle. You might have a book that has 500 pages. I don't know how many pages your book has, um, the one that you're talking about. But you want to take out, um, like I'd have to see the top of it to see if it has, um, if it's like stitched in or if it's glued in. But yeah, you take out a chunk and then save those, you know, and work on those as page separate pages. Um, and then you make your book thinner. You want to thin it out by half in between a certain amount of pages. So when you work on it, it gives you that expansion ability for your mixed media. And if that doesn't make sense to you, just ask me questions and everything, and I can show you um, about it. I can show you what I mean exactly. But that's how we do it. There we go. Now we got a good print. And only use these kind of silicone stamps when you're stamping in anything. Don't use like the rubber ones because they'll stick. But you can see, and you can see there's even ink on my pad, on my, uh, what's it called? Stamp. <laughs> and uh, it even went through on there. So look how cool. So that's just embossing powder on paint. So that's something else you can do. And like I said, I don't think it's going to cut. And I did it too much in the, too, well, maybe. Let's see if we can cut this baby. Ugh, would help if my hands worked. Yeah, see that? Uh, eh. No. That's just because my hands, I don't have good hands anymore. God, I could open a beer bottle with my teeth at one point in life, and now I'm afraid my teeth will fall out. So I'll just push that back through. That ain't going through the embossing. But look, we have a nice raised, <laughs> a raised thing. But it will go through the cardstock, like I said, just not the embossing powder. And like I said, you get all these cool different colors. So you don't have to uh, say, oh, I don't have paint chips or I can't. You can do this. And go to the dollar store. Uh, 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 a friend of mine, uh, Sherry, uh, mentioned to me today. Um, let me move you back because I know it gets a little foozy. Um, a friend of mine today mentioned about her dollar store had a teddy bear a stamp. You can get, go to your dollar store and see what kinds of stamps that they have. Go into your arts and crafts stores. Um, in the U S Michael's AC Moore, Joann's, um, if you have a Hobby Lobby by you and you can go in their cheap like bins, they have like their dollar bins or their cheap bins and they have kids ones. You can get stars. I, I have stars. I have circles. I have squares. I have uh, you can get like um, the end punches, you know, so it has, I mean, you can, there's so many different ways that you can use your end punches, which gives you the, a border punch, it's called, uh, to do the same thing. So just use your imagination. You don't have to use paint chips. It was just something that I had done, but I wanted to show this too, for those who don't have paint chips, use your watercolor paper, use your mixed media paper and cut it down. So you know that you're stamp will go on it. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, tags are so cheap. And now, like I said, I can use mine and I'm going to use it later in, um, as a stencil. Uh, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. So if you don't have paint chips, don't despair, just make your own with just some acrylic paint, watercolor paint, whatever you have. Uh, you know, if you don't have paint, use your food coloring and some water and, and make your, you know, use that to paint, to start painting with. You can do that. It does, it's not going to hurt anything. Will it be archival and last a hundred years? No, but you know what? We're art journaling. We're just, we're just playing. So it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? You can make your sprays out of that. I saw, um, on Angie's art channel, uh, you can check her out. Just look up our Angie's art channel. Um, she's going and buying, uh, Easter egg, uh, dye and using it in her for sprays and stuff like that, which is sent essentially is food coloring and, um, in a different form, so to say. And, um, she's using that. So, I mean, you know, you think outside the box and you get these great ideas. You don't have to spend a ton of money. So that's just, uh, a little video I wanted to do. And I wanted to tell Angie, cause I had watched her video 
about the book and taking out the pages because, um, oh, look, it makes like a, you can make it like 3D. Um, because that's how we do it. That's how we would do it when we would do all the um, journal swaps and everything. And you would buy a book and we'd, you know, um, alter it and then do our pages and send it around for people to uh, do their page in it for us. So you take out, you know, a lot of like half the pages and leave so many pages in between taking them out. So you have that space that you need. And that is it. I want to thank everybody. My show is uploaded and it is on um, my YouTube channel, the video before this. And thank you to all who came. I feel very blessed. And I hope you all have a great day. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody is fighting. And um, keep crafting. And thank you guys so much. I feel so blessed and um, am, am so honored that you guys... Uh, Follow me and are my friends. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.